Bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claude and today, Aquarius, I'm going to be looking at which angels want to um, come forward for you for this month. So I hope you're doing well. Let's see which angels is going to come forward and who wants to work with you. Now please remember those are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody. Take what applies to your situations directly and just forget the rest. Okay, this one wanted to jump, so I'm going to take this one first. And you have Jophiel. So Jophiel, Jophiel wants you to experience joy for this month, which is a beautiful energy to have. my deck and see the second angel Hanael courage okay let's see what we've got for you clarify these two energies So the first card is for the current situation and you have the Five of Michael, which is the Five of Swords. Yeah. For the past, you've got the Four of Raphael. The negative energies to be aware of, the High Priestess. Present the eight of Raphael, the positive influence you have strength, the future or the culmination you've got divine guidance, and the outcome or the life lesson or the opportunity you've got the two of area. Hopefully this fits. All right, let's have a look at this. So at the center, which is the problem or your um, current situation, you have the Five of Swords. And the message from Michael is this. This situation does not serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. Now the Five of Swords talks about, uh, it's some kind of a breakthrough, but it's doing things your own way. That's why the card is saying, uh, taking a more uplifting approach. Um, it's kind of thinking out of the box, because the source is to do with mental energy, so your thoughts, your ideas, and your views on the world, just generally speaking. So, Michael is asking you to do things your own way, find a different approach to this situation, which is why you've got Hanael coming here, um, asking you to embrace the courage that you're going to need for this situation but that is there anyway it need you know obviously research the hand the angel but um, Hanail will be there for you to give you some much needed support in the near past you have the four of Raphael. now seek out other possibilities look for the magic in life be aware of your own emotion. This is the equivalent of the Four of Cups. So, generally speaking, the Four of Cups talks about um, mental, emotional, sorry, stability. But it also talks about sometimes, you know, when you leave water in a small cup, it becomes stagnant and stale. And so, Raphael is asking you to seek out other possibilities. So you may have been in the past um, you may be hung up on the past is what I'm, I'm getting from this message um, you know, let go of what it is that you're still thinking about or that you're still 
um, feeling emotional about because there is a message of be aware of your own emotions on this card um, just release it, there's something better for you basically now in the possible um, negative um, energies, something to be aware of or to min minimize, you have the high priestess now the purple cards in this deck, and you have three, represent the major arcana and I always make a big deal out of the majors versus the minors because the minors deal with the day-to-day -day events and situation whereas the major talk about more permanent type of energy something that's there to make you progress mentally, emotionally and spiritually the message of the High Priestess is powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Because it's in the negative energies, the High Priestess also has um, a, an energy of uh, things that are not said or revealed yet. Some kind of secrets, some things that are not um, exposed yet and you need to be aware of this because it is in, in this position in the spread, which again is why you have Hanael coming forward um, supporting you and telling you that you have the courage and you know that you are brave, you'll be fine but there may be something hidden from you now obviously this is a, re a reading that's for loads of people so you know we could be talking about a relationship, we could be talking about a job, we could be talking about you know even a possible relocation um, starting a new business, take what applies, but there are things that are hidden um, so you need to be aware of this and then we move on to the present and the present is the Eight of Raphael, so you can see you've got two greens here so this, this is the cups, this is the emotional energy there is something better waiting for you do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest now the Eight of Cups is coming to rea the realization that you are not emotionally fulfilled and that yes there is something better for you the nine of cups which is the wish fulfillment cards or even the ten of cups which is a completion and so this is an advancement this is you um, realizing that um, the situation is not fulfilling you you know anymore um, and I really like this card because if you look at it very closely you've got Raphael standing there and he's basically saying, you know, if you cross that bridge, if you have the courage, as Hanael is urging you to display courage, um, to cross the bridge, you will find more emotional fulfillment on the other side. I really like this card. In the positive um, and helpful influences, you've got strength, okay, which again echoes the courage card over there. Now, strength is another major arcana. And it says strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness strength is the card of fortitude of persevering, never giving up and knowing that you have got what it takes to see something through whether you have a challenge coming your way or a difficult situation you've got this, okay? this is really the card saying that you are fully capable of tackling this and be successful, you know, see this through um, and you do not need to be um, overbearing or forceful in order to do so it is that quiet inner confidence, that light that shines within you um, if you look at the lion, he's not roaring, he just knows that he's, he's going to prevail and this is part of what's, you know, positively supporting you so you are a very strong person is the message I'm, I'm getting from all of these cards and for the future, which is the culmination of all of those energies, you have the Hierophant, your third major arcana, which here is referred to as Divine Guidance. And this is the Archangel Sandalphan. The search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach, surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So I am getting the message that right now you are in a position where you need to have strength because you need to move from a situation and you need to think of a, a different approach um, which is the, the general message but there are things that are hidden um, and you need to detach yourself so that you can move forward because you are not emotionally fulfilled Jophiel wants you to experience joy which is why you've got the Eight of Cups here which is moving on emotionally 
and this is going to require a bit of courage but you do have the strength all the cards are pointing out that you do have the strength you've got Anael um, who's going to support you with courage the um, Archangel associated with strength is also Archangel Ariel so if you want to call upon this angel you can also and this is um, again a card of saying you know consider an alternative approach but this is a more um, it's a heavier type of energy in a sense that this is not just, you know, try and think out of the box. This is looking at your life and considering a different way of doing things and maybe getting counsels from people around you. You may have someone who has a lot of experience or someone older who could um, support you and give you advice. Or you may encounter this person as a result um, of the current situation you are in. Because by the end of this, you are going to be presented with a choice or a decision, the two of Ariel. And notice this is the second time you've got the angel Ariel coming up. So you may want to look um, this angel up. And the card says, it is important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. This is the equivalent of the two of coins or pentacle. Um, this is talking about really weighing up your options is the message I'm getting you know you're gonna have to make a decision and you need to weigh up your options but you also need to make sure that you are not putting too much energy into one is what I'm, I'm hearing because ultimately the angels want you to experience joy okay Jophia wants you to, exp to experience pleasure and you know just really living life and if you're concentrating too much on a job, a project, um, too much energy that goes into one direction only, then you're not living, you're not experiencing that joy. Um, which obviously, you know, is, is understandable because you are being required to face up to something with courage and to think out of the box and have an alternative um, approach to something. But you've got this. It, it's going to be okay as long as you balance things, as long as you make sure that you have some pleasure in your life. There's no other um, way of saying it. So if you are in doubt or if you want some support, um, you may call upon the energies of the angels that I have mentioned. Um, you've got um, Ariel twice, you've got Raphael twice, and you have um, Jophiel and Anael, which um, are the two that came forward initially. So if you want to look them up, by all means do. And um, call upon their loving energy to support you in this time. So I hope you have enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you did, or if the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you for stopping by. Until next time, au revoir.